What's up everybody? Today we're going to break down the differences between the Epax E10 and the Elegoo Saturn. Two mid-sized resin printers. Brr. Some quick disclaimers, guys. I bought both of these printers with my own money from the original manufacturers. I got the Elegoo Saturn as part of the pre-order that they did. Had it about nine months. I just picked up the Epax E10 about a month and a half ago. So I think I have a good amount of experience with both printers to give you a breakdown. First off, let's get the tech specs out of the way. Printing wise, these are both the same basic printer, 4K, monochrome. You're going to get fantastic print results with both of these printers. There's really no difference between one or the other when it comes to print quality. On the Epax E10, you're going to get a little bit bigger build volume on the Z axis. It's almost a full two inches, 50 millimeters, an additional Z height. If you're like me and you're printing fishing lure molds or you're printing larger objects, mask, helmets, things like that, that extra two inches could really come in handy. Another quick difference is the VAT volume. The Elegoo Saturn holds about 500 milliliters. The Epax E10 holds 700 milliliters. Again, more milliliters, better for larger prints, less time refilling. Let's take a quick look at the build plate design. The Elegoo Saturn has this ball with two set screws in it. Uh, it makes it really easy to adjust when you're leveling but it's also very prone to movement, especially when you're kind of digging in and knocking off bigger prints from the build plate or just generally moving the build plate around outside of the printer and it bumps around a lot. I had a good deal of problems keeping that build plate level between prints. And finally, I just resorted to leveling it after each print. The Epax E10 on the other hand has the kind of more traditional rectangular four screw mount set up, very, very solid. It came leveled from the factory, and in months of printing, hundreds of prints so far, I haven't had to level it once. It is rock solid. Another quick thing on the build plate design, the Epax has, I don't know how to describe it, like a more rounded top to the build plate, it takes up more space in the vat. So I think if you put the Saturn build plate style on the Epax, you can get even more resin in that vat. But as it is now, as it goes into the vat, it really displaces a ton of resin, which I guess could be good. It's a little annoying though. Another big difference is the overall size. The Saturn appears tiny compared to the Epax E10. Even though they have relatively the same build size, just the physical size of them is a lot different. If you're tight on space, the Saturn is the one for you. And one more quick thing here, it's not super important, but the Epax E10 comes with a SanDisk Cruiser USB, which is a little bit nicer USB stick than the more generic one that comes with the Saturn. Generally, you're gonna get better lifespan from a SanDisk USB than you will from a more generic USB. When it comes to print speed, I don't see any real major differences here. Again, internally, I don't know if they're the exact same printer, but they appear to be really close to the exact same printer. And finally, let's talk price. And this is where it gets really complicated. The Elegoo Saturn list price is right around $500, if you can find one. They come up on Amazon and they get sold out really, really quickly. If you go to Amazon right now, there's a good chance that you're gonna only see resellers and they're selling it for about $749. The Epax E10, on the other hand, I can only really find it available from Epax, maybe Banggood, and they all have the same relative price of $699. Another thing to consider is at the time of making this video in April of 2021, there seems to be a little bit of a supply chain issue with the Elegoo Saturn. They're rarely in stock on Amazon from Elegoo themselves and parts are a little bit more difficult to come by. The Epax, on the other hand, you can order any parts, extra build plates, extra vats, extra screens, whatever you need from their website, and it appears to be readily available. Elegoo, I'm in the process of replacing my LED screen right now, and I had to contact them directly. They were super helpful, but I had to contact them directly, and they're shipping me one directly from China. It's gonna take a few weeks to get here. So the big question, is the Epax E10 worth $200 more than the Elegoo Saturn? Well, I would say, yeah, in general, the better build quality, the better construction, and at least right now, the readily available parts, put it over the top for me. If you are printing for a business, the Epax E10 is the solid choice. Now, that's not to say the Elegoo Saturn is a bad printer. I've printed hundreds of prints on this thing. 
it is really, really good. If these printers were the same price, the E10 would barely eke out the Saturn, but for $200 less, the Saturn is an absolutely solid choice. You really can't go wrong with either of these printers, guys. They're both gonna produce fantastic results for you. I'd say if you need that bigger build volume, that extra two inches in the Z, then it's a no-brainer. Get the E10. If you're just printing minis, you're not printing anything too high, the Elegoo Saturn will rock your world with its build quality and speed. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Watch some more videos right here. Take it easy, take care, and tight line.